What's up, everybody? Richard back today with another reaction video. And today, new Parkway Drive, their track Glitch. It's been, it's been about four years, I believe. Reverence, I believe, is the name of the album. So let's uh, let's check it out. Okay, so it's safe to say we're kind of sticking with that uh, Euro metal sound so far. Um, interesting way to kick off the track. I, I don't mind the riff. I think this will get. I think. I think this will get those uh, stadium or uh, arena or amphitheater crowds uh, moving for sure. Before we get into that, I just wanted to comment and quickly say that kind of like a new metal edge to his vocals almost kind of reminds me of Drew York from Straight From The Path. I just did not expect that. Uh, I did not expect that from Winston. Let's go. Interesting. Almost kind of reminds me of like Metallica, uh, just uh, the track one, like just with the vocal cadence. That's kind of what uh, I cannot sleep. I cannot hide. I can't remember exactly what the, the lyrics are in that track, um, but obviously it's a legendary song. And th that that cadence just kind of reminded me of um, of that song. Before we get into the breakdown too, I just want to comment the 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 chorus almost kind of reminds me of like a uh, like a kind of like while she sleeps or architects like just kind of like that UK metalcore type of sound. But then the, the the second half of it, I can't remember who it sounds like, but it's it, it's a very kind of recognizable tone. And I don't know if that's Winston singing, but if it is, it's cool. I, I think that these are two styles like with the singing and also kind of like the new metally Drew York style that I don't recall hearing Winston do in the past. I could be wrong. But it's very cool. Now we're getting the breakdown. Oh yeah. Get those uh, festival crowds going. This is a wall of death moment.
we'll go back to the chorus. So the breakdown, I thought the buildup was pretty cool. Um, I kind of went on for a little bit too long. Like it, it kind of, uh, I want to say bordered on a little bit cheesy, but it just kind of took took a while to get there. I didn't mind the breakdown as a whole. It was kind of more of a riff down, which makes sense uh, for the, for the you know, I think for the demographic and the audience that they're trying to appeal to. I think it was a bad breakdown at all, but now let's uh, let's finish off the track here. Okay, so um, those Parkway Drive glitch. I think here's how I want to approach this. We'll start with vocals. So Winston, I've always thought Winston is awesome. And I think, like I said, he showed two styles here. Like, and it feels like, I, like that kind of, I can't remember who that reminds me of. It's right on the tip of my tongue, but it sounds a lot like somebody. And then also kind of, like I said, like that new metal-y kind of flair to his vocal, um, almost like a Drew York. I thought that was really cool. I was impressed with his Vocal performance for sure. Um, guitar work. Uh, listen, the guitar work wasn't anything to like too crazy, but I'm definitely not a you know I'm a ones and zeros kind of guy. You know what I mean? So I think it get the I think it got the job done. I think it's meant to just kind of be like uh you know like trying to be like a hook that you know it it gets the job done. It just kind of acts like a backbone, but it's still like prominent and it's easy to kind of move to, especially at a festival where you know. People probably got a couple uh, twelve dollar, uh, you know, uh, Michelob Ultras into them or whatever. You know what I mean? It's like it's just easier to just go. Da, 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 um, the drums, I don't know. Like there wasn't really anything that really stuck out to me necessarily with the drums. It kind of just acted as like a, you know, the backbone. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I thought this was an okay track. I, um, I, it's hard, right? Because it's like. I think a lot of us, especially, you know, like I'm 29, right? So uh, for me, I think a Parkway Drive like Deep Blue or, um, you know, even Atlas or uh, Killing With a Smile. Like I think of that stuff and that stuff just isn't coming back, right? So we have to look towards the future. And I didn't think uh, Reverence was that bad. I, I, I really, I didn't think it was that bad. I, I think though what's happening is that I think um, – I'm kind of no longer in the target audience. I, I, I don't know if I'm in the demographic anymore. And you watching this, uh, you know, you, you may not be a fan of this track, and you may not be part of that either. I think that this is, I think that in my opinion, like I, I feel like this is really catered more towards those y y big, you know, like Vakken, you know, like those big European festivals where people will enjoy it, uh, you know, in that state. Because I, I feel like this song in particular will do very, very well. And like those big arena settings, I think that um, it definitely has that energy for sure. But I don't know if it's necessarily for me. Um, yeah, so it, and that's okay. But anyways, guys, if you want to follow me on social media, check out my Patreon or my Twitch or my merch or my playlist. Probably I don't even know if I said there's so many things. But uh, also, guys, I just want to let you know I was trying some pausing in the video. Just I'm just I'm experimenting with something. Okay, so just you know. Don't go crazy. All right, anyways, peace.